How is everybody doing today? Well, we got an equation here to solve. This is a exponential equation. We've got four e raised to the three x plus three minus seven equals 53. All right, so first thing we wanna do is we wanna get the e raised to the power, that e raised to the three x plus three, we wanna get that by itself. All right, so we're gonna add seven to both sides. So that's going to give us 4e to the 3x plus 3 equals 60. And then we want to divide everything by 4, okay, to get the e by itself. So that is going to give us e raised to the 3x plus 3 equals 15. <clears throat> All right. So... Now we want to see if we can get like bases, which you can't, okay? And and when I mean like bases, let, let me just do this real quick. Forget about this problem for right now. So if we have something like 4 to the x equals 2 cubed, well, I want to write 4 is 2 squared raised to the x equals 2 cubed, Okay. See, I wrote the 4 as 2 raised to a power because I want to get this base and this base the same. So that gives me 2 to the 2x equals 2 to the 3rd. So now once we have like bases, we can just set the exponents equal to each other and we get x equals 3 halves. All right, so you got a little bonus problem in this video. But that's, that's ultimately what we want to do. But sometimes we can't. And if we can't get like bases then what, we're, what we want to do is take the natural log of both sides. You can take the log of both sides, or you can take the natural log of both sides. I usually just always take the natural log of both sides. Most cases, that's the best, to me, that's the best thing to do. All right, so now that we've taken the natural log of both sides, well, this just gives me 3x plus 3 equals natural log of 15. All right, so now you're probably sitting there scratching your head wondering, oh, well, what happened to LN and E? Where did those go? Okay, so let's explain that real quick. Let's come over here to the side. All right, so if you have the log of B to the X with base B, that is equal to x. In other words, if the base of the log and the base of the exponent are the same, then your answer is just your exponent. Okay? All right, so now let me show you this. All right, so now remember natural log of, uh, let's just say natural log x. That is the same thing as log of x with base e okay so basically what it is is we have log base e okay and instead of writing log base e out all the time what we're doing is we're taking log base e and we're abbreviating it ln we're just rewriting log base e is ln, is like an abbreviation. So you want to kind of picture an E right there, okay? So if you look at this written out, we've got natural log E to the 3x plus 3, okay? Which that is the same thing as log base E of E to the 3x plus 3. You see that? See, so just like I did here, and here, I rewrote ln as log base e. And now you can see since the base of the log and the base of the exponent are the same, then my answer is just my exponent. And that's where the 3x plus 3 comes from. Okay, you don't you don't have to you don't need to come out and write this out every time. You've just got to look at this when you see ln picture this e right here and since that e and that e is the same i mean that's not really an e there you're just you're picturing this as 
log base E. LN is log base E. And since this E and this E are the same, then your answer is your exponent. So that's where that's coming from. All right. So now let's solve for X. So I'm going to subtract 3 to both sides. So that's going to give me 3X equals natural log 15 minus 3. And then we're going to divide both sides by 3. So I get X is equal to natural log 15 minus 3 divided by 3. And this is your answer. That is your exact answer. So if they're asking you find, give, find the exact answer, that's what they're talking about. If they want an approximate solution, then you will have to plug that into your calculator. So we get natural log 15 minus 3. Type that in your calculator, hit equals, and then hit divided by 3. And you will get negative 0 0.09731666. And this is your approximate answer. They may tell you to round it. If they do, just round that number to however many decimal places they say. All right. So there's that video. I hope it helped. Check out my other videos. Give me a like, share, subscribe, comment, and I will see y'all in the next one later.